This is Tyrone from Let's Talk Jets. Um, coming to you on a um, miserable Monday. Uh, let's let's dive into it, man. This has been totally, completely the hardest thing I've had to deal with since 2015 with this this Buffalo with the Buffalo debacle. <clears throat> You're watching this team fall apart in front of our, our right right in front of our eyes. Um, you know, you want to dive into every part of it, man. It, it comes down to coaching. It comes down to will and to watch this team just crumble on the game that you know is important. And a matter of fact, the last three games were important and it didn't show up. Um, the energy wasn't there yesterday. They came out flat. Um, the OC, listen, for the OC's case, his system works. It just, he's not a, he's not a talented play caller and it, it was proven. I mean, um, our quarterback's down on his team. In in your in vast improvement. So to to hear someone tell me that, well, this 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 was a a good season. There's nothing good about the season that didn't end in the playoffs. This team at one point was seven and four, and to be able not to make the playoffs, to to just crumble, you know, we wanted meaningful games in December, and when we got to December, and none of these games were meaningful. I mean, that's just what happened. You know, this team didn't show up. They didn't they didn't come to play. They got to Seattle, and they and they just got the tails whooped. And that's just what it is. It's what it's been, and. You know, it don't get me wrong. I, I do feel like the culture is changing to a point, but to be this disappointed for this big of a letdown is it, definitely a problem. I think that we have to, you know, what I'm saying, come out and and figure this out. This has been such a a, a drastic letdown for this season. It, it it's 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 miserable. Um, you know, well, we're getting so and so. I listen. That does not matter when you know our expectations were seven games. But when we got this, when we started getting six and three, seven and four, your 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 expectations change. It's what happens. You know, you expect more, and to watch this team get to the point to where we are able to 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 make a playoff push and to crumble, like to watch our defense not be able to adjust to anything, watch our offense go just straight stagnant. Seattle has the worst run defense in the league, and you can't run the ball against them. Um, you watch Mike White just just crumble yesterday. Um, you know, you have some shining lights, but at this point, I don't want to talk about that because the only thing on my mind is we're not in the playoffs again. And you watch a team that 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 you, you think is turning a corner, and is it the coach? I mean, because at some point, somebody has to to pay for this. Somebody has to answer to this. Somebody has to be responsible for what we saw. In in the letdown, the mass letdown for this season, the the undiable points in need of what didn't happen, and you know it, it's you know Johnny ain't get his ice cream, you know what I'm saying? Johnny had ice cream in five weeks. Johnny, we sorry, this is crazy. I mean, you you get to the point where it, it's just beyond a massive letdown. It, it, it's a it's a meltdown, and. You, you, you just don't understand what happened. And I'm watching bad football, and I'm watching this team that was so so ferocious in every aspect just come down and lay down. You know, if you lose and, and you lose to a better team, that's something different. But to lay down, to not show up, to not fight, knowing how important the last couple of weeks have been, and we've seen that. So it's definitely change is coming. You know what I'm saying? Change going to come. And it's coming real quick. Dress up.